Good morning, you guys. Welcome to today's video. I think we have eight or 11. We have a lot of cars. We have a lot of cars today. Uh, Jerry's up front in the Skyline. Marvin's behind me in the 944. Alan in the M3. Tony's at the S4. We have like 11 cars. We're going for a quick morning cruise, get some breakfast, uh, and then cruise back, I think. But should be a fun little drive. I have the sticky tires on. Should be a fun morning. And of course, you know, just some VR6 sounds. Should be a, should be a good Sunday. <laughs> My man stopping traffic. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Driving with this many cars through like small towns, the sounds are really good. Especially be behind uh, F80 M3 and the Skyline. Got some good sounds. Nice E30.
we're just doing loops in the roundabout. Why are we doing this? <laughs> we just did like three loops around the thing. We've been cruising for about 35 or so minutes. It's been a very chill time so far, but I told Jeremy to speed it up. We're trying to, we're trying to go fast here. So this next section, I guess we're gonna go to like kind of an uphill uh, section, but we'll be doing some more ripping, I hope. But not a bad lineup of cars. Marvin's 944, R32 GTR back there. Lots and lots of nice cars today. Get that shot, sir. Get that shot. I like the commitment. You are in there. You are in. I'm just trying. How's that shot coming out? Look at this. Look at this man. This is commitment for the photo. That's not even your car. And you're this committed. Oh, here comes Bailey. Come here, Bailey. She rides in the R32. She is the coolest dog. She likes me getting the shots, too. Right? Uh, you just come over here? No? Maybe? 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 Yes. Oh, hello. Yeah, she loves going in the car. A bunch of children! Oh my god. We are the most obnoxious people of all time. So right now I actually have all of the windows open. So hopefully, I mean you can hear the exhaust way more, but once you're going fast, I'm hoping the wind noise doesn't overpower like the car. So hopefully uh it still sounds good. I mean I can hear it right here so good like such a good sound we're hoping the wind noise isn't overpower look at old vr6 we'll see i don't know where we're at but this place is beautiful this is sick sure how we got to where we're at i've actually been over here before but we're on like a a nature walk trail jeremy's leading i don't know i don't know what's happening and now we're stopping yeah we are in the middle of nowhere 
If you guys remember, maybe like, I don't know, a month or so ago, we went to that really cool like, lookout tower. It's right over here. This is the same town of Orchards. And now we have like 11 cars in this tiny little like access road. I don't know what's happening or why we're here, but this is definitely not the way. Are you just about to stack up in here? Sorry, little Mark IV is trying to leave. We have Jeremy leading. I don't know what it is we're doing, where we're trying to go. This, this is, I'm gonna try and turn all these cars around back here. Look, there's bikes coming. Yeah, this is definitely not a, all right. Yeah, BMW, you go there. Yeah, this is a, so we, got, we got bicyclists back here. We just brought all the cars on the nature trail for no <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, let me see if I can turn around here. Hold on. Let me go back this way. Sorry, small children. I'm following Jeremy and we're here now. All right, I guess we'll go back this way, out of the way a little bit and try and turn everybody around.
car this is, but it's a Eurospec blue Mark IV R32, and the badge actually says R32 Turbo on it. Very, very sick. Also, something happened with my brakes when I brake. It kind of like, I don't know, either the pads messed up or something happened, but I want to hear this. Uh, we got an R32 GTR and then R32 Turbo. I right, just turn it left. It's nice though. Car's clean. And now we're behind Kim again. Yo, this has been an all-day drive. Right now it's uh it's 5.08. We left at like 11. This is supposed to be a quick drive, food, and then back, and this has been an all-day thing. It's been fun though. Listen to my brakes. Listen to ready. It just sounds awful. It's this side, but I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, that sounds awful. Oh, that sounds awful. Something's grinding down there. I think it looks so good. Man, that car looks so good. Yeah, something happened over here. I'm not sure what, but it doesn't sound great. But we're we're almost home. You got this. Oh, it is much louder now. I don't know what that sound is. I could stop, but I'm like a minute from home. Uh, whatever it is, we'll fix it at home. If I hit the brake though, I swear it's the pad of the caliper or the axle. It's okay. Just ignore the sound. We're almost home. Don't mind me and my loud car, everybody. Wow, that's really loud. What is that? It's not the transmission, because when I clutch in, that doesn't change anything. Not sound good. All right, well, we made it home. Car's still running fine. I'm kind of scared to look. It didn't sound great. Mm, I don't see anything out of place. Pad's still there. Interesting. I mean. Right off the bat, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. I don't know what that sound was. We'll have to uh, jack it up and see uh, what's going on. Didn't sound happy though. So I got the car spun back around. As I was trying to move the car, this whole front side kept like locking up. And I, I want to say it might be the wheel bearing. Man, I didn't have any like weird. So before we got home, we were like five minutes away when that sound started. I had no issues before that. We're also going very, very, very fast on the Autobahn. So it could be the wheel bearing. I'm going to go ahead and jack it up, pull the wheel off, and uh, <laughs> see what kind of damage we did. But she did make it home. But now potentially we have that car that needs parts. This car that might need some parts. I guess we'll move on to the... Uh, the R32 next to drive. All right, so we have the car up in the air. Before I pull the wheel off, I'm just checking for like the wheel bearing or the ball joint, but this way it's good. And also this way is good. But if you turn the wheel, you can hear it. It seems like the caliper is like seized up and it's not releasing, which is weird because these were rebuilt and everything was new, but like, look at this. Or maybe the rotor got warped. But yeah, it's just like, locking up so yeah don't think it's a wheel bearing because that's all good to go you'd hear it like clunking back and forth but for some reason that uh that caliper is like locked up these are also already burnt free so i don't think they were this loose so let's pull this off let's see oh yeah you can see there's like metal marks on there look at this 
you can see where it was like hitting right here. That's so weird. I didn't hear anything the entire time we were driving. And then as soon as we got off the highway, maybe five minutes from the house, I heard it start grinding. But you can see right here, this thing was getting hot. But I don't understand why. I mean, this path is still almost new. I've only run these a few times. I mean, itself is not loose. Is the caliper bolt not loose? Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, that, uh, that'll do it. Where's my caliper bolt? Is it gone? Is it gone? Yo, it's gone. My lower caliper bolt is gone. What? 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 How'd that happen? I mean, these are, these are tight. Like, they were locked tight in when I did this. Bro, my whole, I mean, thankfully, I don't have to do like a wheel bearing or like a new caliper, but like, <laughs> where did my bolt go? I have some spare bolts, hang on. What? What? Imagine, I was driving my car like this and I don't know when it came off. It wasn't on the highway, thankfully, because we were doing like 130. It wasn't then, but as soon as we got off the highway, uh, like two minutes of the highway, I braked and I felt it kind of feel weird. Like it was still braking, um, but I heard it like chick, chick, chick and hitting. You guys heard it. And I was like, that's really odd for it to happen out of nowhere. And my caliper bolt fell off. When in the, how? Wow. I mean, again, thankfully nothing's like broken. My rotor's a little bit, uh, a little, there's still, I mean, there's still life in it, but it's a little hot through here. It was kind of, wow. I guess use this PSA, um, bolt check your car every time you drive it. Cause like those were locked, tied it in and those 17s wore tight. And uh, now it's, I don't know where it's at. It's gone. Is it my driveway somewhere maybe? Uh, I don't see, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, my copper bolt's gone. My top one's still there or are they both gone? Okay, top one's still there, thank God. Uh, okay, let's get a bolt. Check it out. That's how it's supposed to be. No metal grinding sound. You actually have both bolts holding your caliber there. So, busted out the trusty manual. And for the bolts number 15 right there, it is 92 foot pounds. So, got this. Those are not coming out again. And also, I'm gonna check that side and, you know, the whole inside of the car because uh, apparently nothing's tight. So, we've got the car all back together. And I'm very pleased to report, aside from the top copper bolt being loose and the bottom one obviously being missing, um, everything was tight. I checked the right side of uh, the whole subframe, the back of the car. Everything else is tight and good to go. I don't know what happened to this side. Because when we did the brake refresh, uh, everything was torqued down, locked tighted. I don't know how that bolt just said peace out and left. But thankfully, we were super close to home. It could have been much, much worse. I mean, imagine if my entire caliper fell off was like bouncing around my wheel could have been a nightmare but thankfully everything is good to go i said bolt checked everything everything's snug so hopefully uh something like that doesn't ever happen again so i had planned on messing with the crotto a bit today um but i didn't think we'll be cruising for so long we need to get back to like 5 30 and then of course spending like an hour and a half on this car bolt check everything making sure it's good to go so tomorrow we'll jump into crotto stuff once again and actually kind of works out because tomorrow the second box of parts should be here so we'll have everything we need um for that car so the plan for tomorrow in the morning we're taking this car to inspection which hopefully it should pass no problem then after that we'll jump into uh corrado content but with that gonna end the video here hope you guys enjoyed do not forget be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time Peace.